Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs, and today we're going to talk about the tankless dark frog kits available on the website. These come with all the naturalistic vivarium substrates and vivarium wood you'll need to keep your dart frogs happy and healthy. We have them in a variety of different sizes that'll fit virtually any tank on the market. The Josh's Frogs tankless dart frog kit contains Josh's Frogs false bottom. This awesome drainage layer material is a green product made from recycled materials. Josh's Frog's False Bottom is a very lightweight option for creating a false bottom, which serves to create a void for excess water to go, so it does not saturate the soil layer. It also wicks water slowly back into the substrate, allowing for a more humid environment. Additionally, Josh's Frog's False Bottom provides a large amount of surface area for beneficial bacteria, resulting in a much cleaner environment. Substrate Barrier Simply put, the substrate barrier included in the kit is placed between the false bottom and substrate layers in a vivarium to provide the substrate from pushing down into the false bottom. This keeps the substrate drier, improving growing conditions in a vivarium for your plants, and also extends the life of the substrate. The substrate barrier can be cut or folded to fit into your specific enclosure. Each piece of substrate barrier measures approximately 18 inches by 24 inches. Atlanta Botanical Gardens, or ABG Mix. ABG Mix is a premium substrate for top tropical vivaria, a precise blend of drainage material, charcoal, sphagnum peat, long fiber sphagnum, and fir bark. This substrate is capable of lasting several years when used properly. Originally perfected by the Atlanta Botanical Gardens of Atlanta, Georgia, this substrate will support a sizable population of microfauna while allowing plants to thrive. It is a good idea to wet the substrate before placing it in the vivarium. Long fiber sphagnum moss. Long fiber sphagnum moss, often simply called sphagnum moss, lasts a long time in the vivarium and has natural antifungal and antimicrobial properties. It is placed between the substrate and leaf litter layers in a vivarium to prevent the substrate from adhering to the frogs and to increase the suitable environment for microfauna. The long fiber sphagnum moss comes in a compressed brick and will need to be expanded in water prior to use. Leaf litter. Leaf litter is an integral part of naturalistic vivaria. It slowly breaks down, providing both organic food for the microfauna and plants in the tank. Leaf litter also provides hiding places and visual barriers for the larger inhabitants of the vivarium. It is the final layer in the vivarium. Leaf litter may consist of a variety of leaves, typically thicker southern varieties such as live oak, sea grape, or magnolia. Manzanita wood. Josh's Frog's vivarium wood is perfectly suited for use in humid vivaria. It will initially mold, but this mold is harmless and will disappear within a couple weeks on its own. Place the wood in the vivarium in a way that allows you to plant around or on it, providing additional usable space for future vivarium inhabitants, and is also visually appealing. Looking for other naturalistic vivarium supplies, captive bred dart frogs, feeder insects, live plants, or any other reptile and amphibian supplies? Check out joshesfrogs.com today.